Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Portia, if you guys do not know. So today you guys are in for a treat because your girl about to do a seafood bowl with my boo, my trainer, if you guys do not know, Ryo's <laughs> Fitness right here. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? So, she's actually gonna be the lead and I'm just the assistant, okay? <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this party started. Get so started. stay tuned. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys what we got from the store. So we won't have to keep repeating this. All right, so we got some snow crabs from the store, some shrimp that's already peeled, but it has the tail on it, some lemons, some sweet corn, some mussels, butter we're gonna fry some shrimp as well and these are all the seasonings that we are using today and we also got the chopped onions in a bag mm. so, okay right, so first i want to go ahead and clean the potatoes you know i'm all about cleaning my potatoes because i eat my skin and so i'm cleaning potatoes so we went ahead and got this going we got the butter and the garlic in it because this is part of the seafood boil. So now, I'm sorry, Portia, but I had started the water for the the um, crabs and the um, the crabs and the shrimp. So since your shrimp always cook faster, you want to go ahead and start your um, your crab legs first. Which we have snow crabs. We didn't get to get them fresh. We got them frozen, but. Stay tuned, we go to Costco's, we get them fresh. So we're gonna go ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and season up my water. Um, I use Criollo seasoning, and then I also follow it with Obey seasoning. I think I got some that's already open. Let me see. Yeah, I got some that's already open. So, we're gonna go ahead and, I'm a black, I'm black for real, I don't measure. I don't measure. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then we're going to use, I love the taste of chili pepper. But so everybody's like, well, how are you going to taste anything and it's inside the, believe me, it gets in there. So this is what the mussels is going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and put all my seasonings and stuff in there. So what I used was olive oil. Um, that's going to help the seasoning stick on the mussels or whatever. These are already pre-cooked. But I slow cook these, you know, to give it more of a, a tender texture. So I got my garlic, my minced onion, my parsley, and I put a little bit of, like I said, chili powder in there. And then I will get me a stick of butter. Put a, a stick of butter in there. It's all about the flavor, y'all. A lot of people don't believe to me. I believe that you know, seafood have like a fishy taste to it. You can bring it out with your seasonings. So, I always use a half a stick of butter in there. And then I turn the slow cook on and let it simmer and come to a, a nice heat. And then I pour just a half a cup of water in it. And that's it, y'all, for the mussels. Okay, so we're gonna let the potatoes cook a little bit we're gonna let our water that we already seasoned get to boiling and we're gonna go ahead and get that over there prep for the mussels honey but let me tell y'all something it's already smelling good up in here <laughs> okay so Cora already put the um The crab legs in here, you guys. Look at that. Y'all see that? That looks so good, don't it? It ain't even done yet. Tell me, finish. Okay, so now we're about to season the lobster tail. Which my husband is going to put on the grill. Which her husband is going to put on the grill. Y'all ain't never had that before. Let me know. <laughs> okay, so this is what the lobster tail looks like. They are hey, unfrozen the now. And we're about to season them. The grill. Grill. Yeah. Where we grill? The lobster tail. Yeah, we, no, get a portion. Get a girl. What? <laughs> we want some of your, your grillness in this. So, this is the garlic. No salt. Garlic powder, that is. Okay. Then we're going to go to the. Onion. Are you camera shy? Huh? Are you camera shy? Okay. 
<laughs> so then we're gonna do the onion powder. Yeah, hold your hand behind it. There you go, girl. I'm gonna make you a star. No, okay. you're not. <laughs> make Let's go hold your hand behind it. Cause it'd be blurry. Uh, in the tray, huh? Mm-hmm. Once you know all this stuff, baby, we don't. So we got this. Even though it says chicken, we want our stuff to taste like chicken. Move out y'all. I got one that's already open. And Jamar, you're going to grill. You got the grill ready? We have another assistant over here. Un involuntary. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's honorary. So then, just a little bit of honey, garlic herb. I'm telling y'all some of my secrets. I told Portia I wasn't supposed to be telling y'all my secrets. Just for that one, not the other ones. So, so you charge per view. All right. So once I put the seasonings in, I go like this to soften it up, to tenderize it. Go ahead and, cause um, lots of tail is um, real tough. So if you don't tenderize it and like cut through it or whatever, it will come out rubbery. So I'll go ahead and, and we don't want that. <laughs> and then once I do that, you know, I crack it a little bit because he is going to have to put it on there. Crack it a little bit. Go in with my thing that Portia didn't open for me. Sorry. I need to get on my job, y'all. That enhances the flavor. All right, y'all, and that is it for the lobster tail seasoning. All right, this is the man behind the grill, y'all. He said he was volunteered, but he gonna do it for us. Well, I got it. All right, guys, so we have our shrimp, and let me tell y'all something. Yes, our shrimp is in the sink, but that's what we African-Americans do, okay? But we clean our sink first, so don't say nothing, okay? But we have our shrimp right here. We season it with the same thing that we seasoned the lobster tail with, and then we added some, um, chopped onions to it and we're gonna put this in a pan and it's gonna be put on the grill as well in butter but I'm gonna show y'all that too. This is the, what we're gonna use. I always use canola extra virgin um, olive oil so to make the sauce for the shrimp to cook in so the shrimp don't dry out I always use just a little bit of that and then I still like put the onion powder in there and then I will get some um, Basil, which I have to find, which is this, this basil. Basil and parsley, don't, don't, don't knock it. Um, it bring, it really enhances the flavor of a lot of stuff. And then I do a little bit of this. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> the thing, the moisture in the air. So I do a little bit of this. Take it, stir it in there real good. Get it going, get it thick, get it thick, get it thick, get it thick. I'm letting y'all know all my secrets. Not all, not all of them. Not all of them, but some of them. All right, so then my hands are clean, but I will wash them again. So, what I do is just take it, just stir it all up, make sure that seasoning is good in there. Good, good, good. My sink is clean, I promise. Right, y'all see I'm outside because Mrs. Jamar getting the um the grill ready for us. I'm just gonna show y'all how he put it on there and that's it. This is a gas grill guys, so we don't have to wait for anything to heat up. And how long we gotta let that sit? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know, I just come in here and look at the color, make sure the color changes. Okay. Uh, the color changes. Uh, what color are they supposed to change? Red. Red. Added water to the seasoning that we put for the mussels. Maybe you can be cleaning as we're going. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one thing about mussels, they don't, they don't taste fishy at all, and they don't smell fishy. And that's so we'll go ahead and put them in there. Spread them around in the seasoning real good. 
once it starts cooking. Yeah, so it's in there. You want to make sure that each muscle is in there so you can get the seasoning. Remember, we're slow cooking these, so approximately how much time that take? Probably about 15, 20 minutes, because those are pre-cooked already. Okay. Okay, our shrimp is ready to go on the grill. Y'all already know. Mr. Jamal about to go handle his business out there, okay? <laughs> all right, look at our crab legs. They are done. That is what they are supposed to look like, guys, and they smell so good. All right, now we're out here checking on the lobster tail. Looks so yummy, and then we have the shrimp up here. Y'all, this smells so good. They're gonna make all the people in the neighborhood wanna come over here. Got it. Got it. So this lobster tail is done. It's not just all the way not all the way done. It just has to be flipped, and then our shrimp are slightly done. But okay. All right, we are all done. So we have the crab legs, the shrimp, the mussels, lobster tail, corn, and potatoes. We ain't too bougie, y'all, because we got some, you know, little fried shrimp out the box. Okay. Then we got. Three different sauces right here. This is butter. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cora made both of these. These are special sauce, you guys, but y'all know how to make this butter. That's what we stick it to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> y'all, Cora did so good on this bread, honey bun. She's the chef. I just washed. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and taste this and get started. I want the shrimp first. I want the shrimp first. Hmm. Okay, let me try her little sauce that she got right here that y'all can't know about. Good. Mm, that's mom. I did that. <laughs> I did that. That tastes real good. Thank you. So that's my corn. Mm. Shrimp. Mm, good. Mm. Shrimp is so good. Mm. And Caesar. Make you want to slap your mama. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot. I ain't I ain't was on here. I ain't slapping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in my grave early. Hmm. Okay, now we have. I need my lemons. Some lemon rain, lemon juice. For that? Yeah. Tell me if y'all eat um, mussels, because I don't eat mussels, but I do. Some people do. I just started eating them this year. Me and my husband doing this pres Presbyterian thing. So you can just put it on there, because we got we'll wash it. And actually, I am her trainer. So actually, us doing it for a month, we've seen a totally big difference in our body. So. We're gonna do it again. Definitely do it again. We've tasted everything. Everything turned out good to go. So, we're gonna tell y'all how me and Cora met. I don't remember her. So, <coughs> I used to see her in. Memorial Gym all the time. <laughs> I believe it. And every time I would see her, she would be in the zone, working out. We'll make eye contact, she'd do her little smile and turn her head and go on about her business. <laughs> so one day, I was um in another gym, and what did we say to each other? Oh, I had said, where you been? And he was like, where you been? <laughs> 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 Cause I haven't seen her forever, but I don't really go to the gym like that. She goes to the gym all the time. And then we got to talking. And then I was like, you a trainer? <laughs> she didn't want to tell me on the low. <laughs> but she was like, I can or whatever. So she started working out. I started working out. And we ended up going in the same room. And then my friend came. And we started talking about working out again. And then she going to say, and I want to tell you, you were doing a step master wrong. Cause I watch because <laughs> I watch people when they work out. And you was doing the step master. I said, well, what am I supposed to be doing? She don't show me how to do the step master and everything, y'all. And 
and she was doing it completely day. wrong. She was trying to break her wrist and everything. Ever since that day, we've been inseparable. Let's taste the butter. Butter, butter, butter. Ooh. I'd rather have my butt, my sauce and then butter. <laughs> Your sauce and the butter? No. Just my this sauce and that. Oh. So that is our story. Is it good? Um mm -hmm. we get along really great. Yeah. We have more than just a trainer client relationship. She my niece. Obviously if I'm over here. <laughs> she my niece. Yep, might as well say. So that job. I'm gonna attempt to eat this corn with my breakfast. Mm -hmm. I got scared, y'all. I thought I broke the rabbit. I used to just clip mine off the floor. Mm -hmm. It ain't the same. How many y'all? Okay, in the comment section, tell me, is it better on the cob or off the cob? On the cob or off the cob? And <clears throat> Portia, let me know who won. I think it's better on the cob. If it's off the cob, it ain't corn. That's the fake corn. <laughs> it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this give this video a thumbs up or let us know down in the comment box like I said this is my trainer Ryo's Fitness Ryo's Fit oh Fit oh. <laughs> excuse me <laughs> Cause I was about to say her first name, but I remember last time she was like, don't say, say wow, spit. <laughs> so, I will link her um, Instagram in the description box. So, thank you guys for taking the shine for visiting my channel. <clears throat> we will see you guys next time. And don't forget to press that subscribe button right there. And turn on the notifications so you can know when she uploads. See you guys next time. Toodle.